Coming up next, it's a lightweight tilt between Bruce Lee and Dustin Poirier. Gidry, Louisiana Lightning, you got Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion, but now Dustin Poirier on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title has a key to the city of Lafayette, and he will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier, he loves that city, and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough, he's durable, he's a guy that is looking for a fight, and in the fight with Max Holloway to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go do anything to accomplish his goals. A truly special athlete is thus before you. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the famed canvas here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this make it advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Nice punch by Lee. Came of inches right there boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Yeah he's mixed it all up. Just out of range with that left hook. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, how good is that Fourier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it over tonight. Dustin Fourier fights the southpaw. He's a right hand guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over aggressive, he graded him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Nice hook there by Poirier. Beautiful kick. They continue to exchange. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Takedown defense holds up. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, it's not always easy being a counter striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, it really is something to behold. You'll see he'll try to draw the opponent in here yet again, and as soon as his opponent strikes, he'll try to use that wayward offense against him and get back to his countering game that really has been the big story in this one thus far. Nice punch, man. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Just missing on the uppercut there. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, so a nice job by this young man landing counter strikes in the previous round. We will see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. To be able to stand back and see your opponent's attack and counter so effectively is a very, very difficult skill to pick up. This young man has done that, and he has done that to a really high level. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Beautiful Hard shots landing on both sides here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what that It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch by Lee. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, connects with the one-two. And they separate. Just out of range with the big right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves.
Force his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. And there comes the separation now. All right, that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Poirier gets hit with a kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. That straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Poirier's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Oh, straight to the body by Lee. There's no tell on that leg. Combination kick. landed by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Good stick. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Oh! Oh, diving punch lands. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. We'll see how he chooses to defend here. Lee's in half court. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Tags him with the left. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, and he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. His opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Lee 
His hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. And now he lands a combination. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Poirier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, big shot land. Head kick, that's a miss. Nice leg kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Single collar tie now. Nice kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, he got him hurt bad! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets up again here, but hurting. So he's really starting to put together... show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. He landed right on the sweet spot and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice strike. Poirier's lower jaw very swollen now. Time. Oh! Huge right hand! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Oh, massive diving punch, plus to the head. Running fans. That'll do it! He's done, he's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffett. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by...